Oh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Clever Style. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but something about wearing a wedding veil just makes me talk like Marilyn Monroe. You're probably wondering what the heck we're doing. Why are we wearing this? The answer is you are cordially invited to watch me renew my wedding vow. Just kidding, although that would be fun. It's for a very, very special edition of Cheap versus Steep. So since technically it is wedding season, we thought that we should guess cheap versus expensive wedding dresses. If this is around the time when you're getting married, this should be fun for you. And if you just have a Pinterest board of wedding ideas on your computer that you've had there since you were around 12 years old, you'll also appreciate this. <laughs> and today's wedding dresses actually come from three different stores. We have Wish, David's Bridal, and Kleinfeld, like from Say Yes to the Dress. Are you saying yes? to this beautiful dress. The wedding dresses that we're looking at today range from $13 to, wait for it, $27 thousand dollars and if you're like me then you're like oh only twenty seven thousand for a wedding dress like please that's what i wore to my reception help me i'm poor since twenty seven thousand dollars wasn't exactly in the budget for this video we will be looking at pictures each of us has been given a dress and uh we will get to guess on our computers we can't touch the dresses we can't feel them we can't hold them we can't you know hold them up to our hearts and envision our beautiful wedding day that seems like it's never going to happen. Uh, if you guys could only see the faces I'm getting right now. Play along in the comment section below because I just love to see your comments. Let us know what you think each dress is as you're watching and stay tuned for the end while we do the reveals. It felt like the only way to accurately guess wedding dresses was to put mine on. And it just so happens mine is from David's Bridal, so I should get that correct. And just want an excuse to put this on. So first up we have sheath dresses. I don't know what a sheath dress is, so that's not a good sign. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay, so it's either from Wish or David's Bridal or Kleinfeld. So that's the expensive one. Wish is obviously the least expensive and David's Bridal is in the middle. This is elegant designer, high fashion. It has a bedazzled belt. There aren't that many layers. But that doesn't necessarily mean like something's more expensive than something else, right? This is really hard. She's wearing a very sleek white gown. It's got a totally lace panel going down the side with little lace floral details that are very pretty. It's really classy. It looks like it could be really expensive. Uh, I don't know if it's expensive or not because I feel like I've seen a lot of dresses that are inexpensive, but they've just made them look and so good and are so well made that it tricks yeah. Doesn't look super expensive. I'm gonna say this is from David's Bridal. I don't know why, don't ask me why. I just don't think it's like super expensive. The only thing I could guess is that maybe it's the expensive one because it looks conservative. Everything is covered up. You can't see, this is like a good church wedding dress. It's not super extravagant. It's not super loud, but there seem to be a lot of details. This is so tough. Let me just throw it out there. I'm gonna say Kleinfeld for this one only because I feel like they would not fly anybody to this beautiful country club golf course overlooking the ocean if they weren't doing it to photograph a really expensive dress. Let's see what the answer is. Are you ready? One, two, Three. <gasps> Mine was Kleinfeld. Mine was three thousand eight hundred dollars. Wow. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. So mine was David's bridal. It's a thousand dollars. Still expensive. Oh my gosh. This dress is from Wish. Bridget, I knew you were gonna do this to me. It's eighteen dollars. <laughs> it is eighteen dollars. What the heck? I guess I should have maybe known because perhaps the bedazzled belt is a little more mainstream, like a universal trend instead of maybe like this more, like the Kleinfeld dress looks edgier, higher, chicer maybe. And whereas Davis Bridal feels more like an everyday bride, which is not an insult because hello, I'm an everyday bride wearing her wedding dress from five years ago. With looking at mine against the other two, mine looks the most expensive. I totally would have gotten that had I seen the other ones. And that's just, that's not just me blowing my own horn, but like toot toot. <laughs> wow, that is shocking. 18 bucks for that? Does it look like that when it comes in the mail? That is the $18 question. Okay, round two, A-line dresses. So my A-line dress 
It's like kind of um, like bohemian looking and it's got a lot of like lace detail on it. it. Looks like it's made really well. Wow, this looks like it could be really expensive. This is gorgeous. This is my style. If you couldn't tell, I like the style a lot. I love the bodice. It's sheer, but it has some like, some nice detailing. It's got like a deep V plunge. And then the gown part of it, the skirt part, is very elegant. Lots of layers, long train. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, that is so pretty. The Kleinfeld one that I had in the sheath dress round had a similar backdrop that this photo has. So I'm like, is that a dead giveaway? The dress looks kind of cheap to me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say this is from David's Bridal. I'm gonna guess this is David's Bridal because no. This is Kleinfeld. The only reason I was gonna say David's Bridal is because it doesn't seem so edgy or like high fashion. Like it seems like a, a trendy wedding dress that David's Bridal would carry. I'm gonna guess this one is Kleinfeld. This dress looks really pretty. I think it's really nice actually. Okay, I'm gonna say Kleinfeld again because now I have no clue. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, I was wrong again. Mine is from Wish, it's $24. Good. A bride should be correct on her wedding day. Oh my God, that dress is eight thousand dollars. All right, it was wrong. It was David's bridal. I have no clue. Again, that wish dress is gorgeous. This David's bridal one was thirteen hundred dollars, and that wish dress is twenty four dollars. I don't even understand. Oh, it's time for the mermaid dress round. You guys know that I kind of want a mermaid dress potentially. I don't like this one though. <laughs> This dress is beautiful. This doesn't look like it could be a wish dress because the two wish dresses were more on the simple side. This looks like insane. Like this looks over the top crazy insane. It looks like a volcano at the bottom. Okay, this is very elegant, but even the room this model is in looks expensive. Like it's the clubhouse, ballroom, whatever. You know, some mermaid dresses don't have a lot of tool at the bottom or layers. This one looks like something, there's a lot going on under there to make it fluff out could be an indicator that it is a little more expensive. I like the bottom of it. I like the material. I like how flowy it looks. It looks like it would move very well when she walks and dances, you know, in his twirls. Oh my God, I'm gonna, gonna be a very hot bride. <laughs> what the heck? is happening in this dress. I swear to God, if this is the $27,000 dress, we're gonna have a serious issue. The sweetheart neckline is very pretty. There's a lot of intricate things happening all over the bodice down to the, the curvy part. This could be expensive. This could also be David's bridal. I do not like this dress. I like the veil. I don't like the main part of the dress. I really don't. I don't know. I feel like Kleinfeld wouldn't do this. It seems more expensive than Wish. I'm gonna lock in on David's bridal with this one. I think this looks a little bit on the more traditional side of things. So I'm gonna guess David's bridal. All right, again, I'm gonna say Kleinfeld. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, they all look expensive to me. I have zero idea when it comes to wedding dresses, clearly. Answer, here we go. Wedding fairies, be with me now and help me get this answer right. Come on, be David's bridal. <gasps> Mine is from ND David's Bridal and it costs $1,399. Ugh, oh, thank God I got one right. This dress is $14,700. I think it's because you're buying like 47 pounds of lace. What? Stop it. That is on Wish. $65 for that dress. If you bought that and it actually looked like the picture, why would you ever spend more money on anything else? My veil is so shocked by that. It just ran away from my head. Oh my God, but Lawrence is really pretty. And for $65, that is not bad. That's not bad at all. Sinead's looks extremely expensive. Yeah, I would believe that. Again, the David's Bridal one, 1400 bucks is not as cute as the $65 wish dress. $65 wish dress is really pretty. Oh, the David's Bridal dress is really pretty. And the Kleinfeld one, ugh, the Kleinfeld one is $14,000. You could have told me that was from Wish and I would have been like, yeah, I believe it. Dang, that Wish wedding dress is that's the real steal. That's the winner right there. Okay, ball gowns. You guys, mermaid dresses and ball gowns are like my two faves for dresses, so I feel like I'm gonna get lucky on the dresses that I personally want for myself. Ball gowns, this is where everything goes to poop because I have zero clue when it comes to ball gowns. This looks like a runway dress. There's so much going on. There's a lot of arm fluff. Uh, even the little just sweetheart neckline is like giving me some black swan pointiness. Actually, the whole dress is 
very black swan. That was perfect. It's very seldom that I'm speechless. Not speechless, I'm just, I don't know what I feel about it. It's pretty, it's just not my favorite dress in the world. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? This is insane. I don't feel like this could be anything other than a Kleinfeld, but also like, I have zero clue. There is some sort of weird overlay that's throwing me off a little bit. It looks a little cheap, but there's so much material in this that I'm like, this can't be that cheap. It looks like it could be expensive. It also looks like it could be inexpensive. I want to see what the detail is like on the bodice. Like, is it stitched? Is it just an adhesive? It makes a difference, you know? Oh, I want to get this right so bad. I feel like it's too out there to be David's bridal. This could be Wish or it could be Kleinfeld because it's kind of weird. This would be the $27,000 dress. It's a little bizarre, there's a lot going on. You could for sure hide many cases of White Claw under that, that dress. I don't feel like this is a Kleinfeld dress, but again, I don't feel like it's a Wish dress. So I guess I'm gonna have to say David's Bridal for this one, just because it's like elevated in a sense, but not like $27,000 expensive. If this is $27,000, then we have a problem. I do not think this is Kleinfeld. I'm going to eliminate Kleinfeld. I'm gonna go ahead and say David's bridal. Oh, uh, I hope I'm right. I think I might cry a little <laughs> I'm wrong. I keep guessing that things are Kleinfeld and I keep getting them wrong. I'm gonna guess that this is Wish. No, it's gotta be Kleinfeld. Oh, this is so hard. Oh my God, it was right! Thank God, too wrong, too right. It's $2,000. I could see why it would be a couple thousand just because you gotta pay for all that fabric. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, here we go, here we go. Damn it, I got it wrong, it's Wish. That's okay, mine is from Wish and it's $152. <laughs> ah, thank goodness. If my dress was not $27,000, I was going to burn this place down. It is, looks so expensive. Yeah, the wish dress looks like a wish dress for this one. It's not very ball gown-esque, but it's still really pretty. It's just, it definitely looks out of the three of these. I could see how that one would be the wish one. Once again, yes, the Kleinfeld one looks like it's $26,000. I get it, I get it. They're just trying to challenge us. I'm up for a challenge. I am. I'm just being a sore loser, that's all. <laughs> Mine looks like a $27,000 dress. It's a little weird. It's a little out there. It also like kind of looks maybe cheap. I'm just so thrown off by everything, but at least I got it right. Okay, so I got one right. I got one right. I can't, I can't, I'm okay with that. You know, one is better than nothing. Okay, so I think I got two correct and two completely wrong. I think it really just goes to show you, you don't have to spend that much to get a gorgeous wedding dress. They all look like they could have been the Kleinfeld, the most expensive dress. Well, if you ask me, I failed that miserably. I'm just gonna hide in shame under my veil. But I wanna know if you guys did better or worse or if you tied us, maybe you can just say you tied me to make me feel better. Dun, dun, ta, dun, 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 ta, dun. It's like a horror movie. Dun, dun, ta, dun. All right, I need to go to bed.